Hello once again and welcome into another edition of our Sales Power Tips video blog. Thanks so much for joining us. I am Butch Bella and I'm going to be here uh, bringing you this uh, video blog and uh, hopefully helping you in your sales career if you are uh, an accomplished salesperson or somebody that's just getting started out. Certainly appreciate you uh, taking time to join us for today's video blog. Today's video blog inspired by a conversation I actually had last night. It was at an event uh, uh, here in Dallas, Texas, and I was talking to a young man. I say young man, young, he was in his 30s, and um, talking about sales, and he asked what I did, and I told him, and, and uh, he said, well, if you could give one piece of advice to uh, a salesperson, the best piece of advice, one thing they need to know, what would it be? Very, very simple. It came to me just like that, something uh, that I didn't even have to think about. Know a way to overcome your top 10 objections. You know what the customer is going to object to. You know what they're going to tell you. Know a way to overcome it. You should never find yourself going to an appointment, going to a presentation, or about to ask for a sale and find yourself thinking, I hope they don't say this, or I hope he doesn't give me that. Um, uh, this gentleman uh, sold financial products, and he said, you know, people say, uh, well, my CPA handles that. Well... I understand that, and uh, my CPA handles my taxes, um, but uh, I have a dentist that handles my teeth, too, because those guys are experts in what they do. Let me show you what I can do being an expert in the financial field. He and I talked through a couple of scenarios and things that, that he's faced with every day. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take, and it's easy to make the list of objections, make the list of the top 10 objections you hear all the time. It, go ahead and just make a list, make a tick list of the top ten that you hear, and it, and they could be anything. I, I want to think about it, uh, you know, no no money, no hurry, no need, wh whatever the case may be, and then I want you to sit down and come up with ways to overcome those objections. What are ways? Uh, what are good ways that you've heard that overcome those objections and move the sale further and further down the line? One of the things I want to caution you against is to get stuck in, well, there's no way to overcome that. There's a way to overcome all of them. You just have to work through it. You may not have it. Talk to another salesperson. Talk to your manager. Um, talk to, to just uh, somebody else at your company and how, how they would. If somebody said this, what would you say? Um, and find ways to overcome those top ten. The the example I give everybody all the time, and and. If you followed my my writing or anything, you know that uh, almost five years ago, I had uh, triple bypass heart surgery uh, unexpectedly at uh, 43 years old. And I tell people all the time, if you would have asked me May 18th, 2009, Butch, how would you like triple bypass open heart surgery? I would have told you I don't want it, I don't need it, and I can't afford it. Those are things you hear every day. No want, no need, no afford. But when the surgeon showed me, you know, how clogged up I was, I not only wanted it, needed it, found a way to afford it, I wanted an expert doing it. You've got to be the expert. Sometimes you have to show the customer where their blockage is, where they're clogged up at. So as you think about ways to overcome these top ten objections, you be the expert. Remember that you're in a position to help your customers overcome their pain. Sometimes they may not know they have pain. You may have to show them that. They, well, no, we're, we're happy with what we've got. We're, we're content right where we're at. It's up to you to show them that it could be better, that there is, the grass is greener on the other side. And let me show you what my company and I, and I can do for you. So, again, here, here's your homework assignment. Take those top ten objections. They're going to be the easy part. And coming up with what you hear all the time, maybe the last 10, the top 10, the 10 most common ones you hear, and then literally sit down, and I want you to come up and, and hand write out, don't, don't be afraid to do a little homework here, hand write out ways to overcome them. Now, I want you to sit down, memorize that to where you can internalize it, and you can deliver it planned, not canned. So that when they say this, I'm going to say that. If they say that, I'm going to say this. And do it in a way that's natural, just as natural as if they ask what your name is or what your phone number is. You don't have to think about those things. They just come out. 
And that's the way that you should be in overcoming these objections. Make sense? Good. I want you to try to practice that uh, before we get together again. Remember, we are at uh, butchbella.com every day. We publish a blog Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're always on Twitter, at Sales Power Tips. We've got a Facebook page I'd love for you to go check out, Butch Bella Coaching at uh, Facebook. Go give our page a, a like. I would appreciate that. We do uh, sales training and sales coaching for companies, for individuals. You can uh, book us to speak. We work through a speaker co-op in Dallas, Texas. There's a link at our website on how to get in touch with us there. Would love to uh, work with you. If you need individual uh, sales training and coaching, or if you would uh, like to uh, talk to me about working with your group, email me, butch at butchbella.com. Coaching and uh, training is a lot uh, easier and a lot uh, uh, less painful than you think. I had a guy ask me the other day, why do I need a coach? Tiger Woods has got a golf coach. Golf coach is probably not as good as Tiger Woods at golf, but he can notice things in his swing that Tiger Woods can't. That's what a coach does. A coach is just going to help you overcome uh, some mechanics and some things that you've kind of got, maybe bad habits you've developed. We kind of help you work through those things and get back to the true champion that you are. Again, thanks for joining us for today's Sales Power Tips video blog, www.butchbella.com, B-U-T-C-H-B-E-L-L-A-H.com with B2 Training and Development in Dallas, Texas. I'll see you next time.